Good morning. Welcome back to the last lecture in this module, Design for Environment. I will discuss life cycle assessment, process based model. As I said, I will discuss GABI software and this is a small demonstration on how to make a plan and put processes and flows in it. So, there are different kinds of process based softwares as I mentioned, uh, GABI, SEMA Pro, Open LCA, Umberto, Sustainable Mind, SolarWorks, Sustainability Express, IDMAT. Now, out of these, these first four are comprehensive models and these last three have limited capabilities. Like SolarWorks Sustainability Express uh, is an extension of SolarWorks design software or CAD and CAE software, computer design and computer edit engineering, in which uh, we can compare to different materials. For instance, I am going to manufacture uh, this stylus. I can think of whether to put this as nylon or I have to put it as polypropylene, which kind of plastic do you have to put. So, what is the life cycle assessment? So, where, from where do material come? Just it is uh, limited to few applications. Similarly, uh, this IDMAT, this is Android or iOS based software. This cannot be run on the Windows. So, this is just uh, the mobile small ap application. This is limited to two or three scenarios like uh, landfill or dumping to ground, waste treatment or closed loop recycling. It does not have an extensive uh, application, but uh, yes, you can download it in your Android and there are uh, videos available to learn how you can work on these. Sustainable Minds is also one of the software which has limited capabilities. These four softwares on the top, these are comprehensive, comprehensive and detailed. These have extensive capabilities and you can build your whole model, you can uh, compare the two products, you can compare the processes to manufacture a product or uh, you can uh, make a full factory, keep on adding the flows, the processes, keep on adding inputs to the processes, Okay, electricity, then uh, material flow, then what is the em emission that is the outflow. So, input and outputs all those things can be added. People have different opinions and different choices of choosing the software. Uh, I have picked GABI as the software which I will try to explain. Features of these four software, this open LCA is an open access software or free. And uh, GABI also has free license. It is education license for one year. This is only education version for one year and we have full version for 30 days. This is available for the students or the practitioners to practice and for uh, SEMA Pro all licenses are paid. This is completely paid, we do not have the free version for this. So, Umberto is also paid. Now, while Open LCA and SEMA Pro are only focused on one product, these are, these are more focused on product, this is more focused on process. However, we can also consider product in GABI, but uh, SEMA Pro and Open LCA are more focused on product, this is uh, uh, what I have explored. And uh, all of these four uh, softwares have approaches are suitable for the straightforward life cycle assessment. Now, SEMA Pro and GABI both use the databases from GABI and EcoInvent yeah, database. One is GABI database, which GABI has uh, developed through its 20 years of experience uh, in life cycle assessment. They have different associations like plastic associations, world steel associations, those who provide the data and uh, tell that what will be the use of steel, what will be the impact of steel, or what are the inputs to the steel when we manufacture steel. Also like GABI, EcoInvent 
eco invent is very commonly used database which Gabi also uses and Sima Pro also uses. Umberto, this is used for generally non linear processes. and for system analysis. Now, assessing the whole system and its interactions before breaking it down to single linear product systems. So, this software is particularly useful when you want to explore your complete production system like I said the complete factory. So, these are the certain applications at high level both Gabi and Sima Pro share a common purpose that is to identify environmental hotspots of product systems at levels of assemblies, processes, flows, plants. They uh, mainly differ in the extent of database they have. Gabi has both Gabi and EcoInvent database, but Sima Pro has uh, the EcoInvent database. So, that is the difference. So, like this SolidWorks Sustainability Express and Sustainable Minds. So, these are also some streamlined software, LCA softwares, but their computational capabilities are limited. I would put computational capabilities are limited. So, this is the basic difference. Now, we will discuss about Gabi software and we will have a demonstration on this. Uh, what specifically is Gabi software based upon? It is based upon plants. So, if you remember, we had a factory like this, okay, in which we have small unit processes. So, this big factory, this is our plant, this is our process, and if material of flow happens from one process to second process is process one process two this is flow. So, it is based upon plants processes and flows the most critical part which is identified in conducting a life cycle assessment is number one collecting the data from both inside the organization and from outside the organization and then mapping the data and then collecting the information from the data. This is point one. Second point is I would say important activities. Or in placing what I would say critical activities. One is collecting data. and data mapping. Like this, then providing the tailored insights that departments and businesses function and how these can be used that is second critical activity, providing information information in a way for instance I will take example of manufacturing a clip a paper clip. So, this is a kind of a paper clip that we have. So, it is a steel wire paper clip. So, that will show how to bend this how to make this this will do and uh, this paper clip uh, uh, is made of steel wire when the steel wire comes people also know people uh, uh, the manufacturers only know what is the total weight or total length of the paper clip that we have used. So, total weight is the factor that we will use here that is the only information they have. Now, from where is this steel brought? It is brought from steel billets and it is transported and uh, the steel billets have converted uh, the billets into this wires then the wires have to be bended that will be manufacturing processes that will be used. So, providing the tailored information is important that what specifically needs to be done. So, communicating the product sustainable performance to customers is the third point. Communicating to the customers. So, these softwares help to cater these challenges I would say in collecting the data. and uh, then data mapping 
then providing tailored information and communicating to the customers. We can generate reports in reports, we can show that what is the environmental impact of our product in comparison to the competitors products or in comparison to the previous product that we were manufacturing. So, there are certain paybacks in a way the cost we can optimize the material and energy and resource across uh, the value chain, we can optimize the internal processes and we can gain visibility into the supply chain and in that way we can mitigate risks from materials and processes of concern, this can enhance the brand and reputation of the company. So, this is all that we can do in using the softwares. Okay. So, three points can be put as map, then evaluate, okay, then communicate. So, with this I like to uh, take you to the software interface that is Gabi software and we will see how do we work on the software and how do we create the plans, processes and flow. I will just take an example of uh, the inbuilt database that is there that is uh, manufacturing of the steel wire clip and uh, you can obviously develop your uh, own processes based, or based on uh, different materials that you have. Just this is an introduction and this is a tutorial that is uh, there on the Gabi website as well. The PDF tutorials available, you can read them and I am also trying to replicate that tutorial again in this lecture. So, let us come to the Gabi interface and see how does this work. So, this is the Gabi interface. Uh, this is uh, an evaluation version that is there for 30 days. This is a full evaluation version and uh, we have taken this to demonstrate the Gabi software capabilities, not the all capabilities, but to introduction of what we can do in the software. So, this has like I said plan, process and flow. Again plan is uh, the life cycle you are uh, analyzing, it is the boundary that we are working on. Process is the place uh, on the plan which shows uh, an elemental activity. So, this can be some manufacturing like uh, milling, turning, bending, packaging, so these are processes. Flow is the connection between two processes, it is the connecting the energy, material, it uh, flow is generally mass, energy and cost. Anything that is moving around the system that is connected using this flow. We can go here and browse for the database. Since this version does not have a database, very large databases in it. So, we can just have this tutorial database that we can just open. If we open the database, you will see it is opening or we can even double click here paper, paper clip tutorial and database will be opened. So, it is loading the flows, yes, the database is open now. Now, it has uh, this uh, tutorial, uh, if I go to projects, modeling, processes, plans. So, it has this tutorial model, a model that is there to develop paper clip, to manufacture a paper clip. The paper clip as I mentioned is uh, made of the steel wire. And uh, uh, the steel wire is only the raw material that is coming and it has to be bent. The steel wire has to be bent. So, the process there here is bending. The bending process is here that has to uh, bend this into certain that the bending process is there that has to bend it at certain point and make the proper paper clip like this. So, the input is steel wire. From where is the steel wire made that we need to need know. So, we will make a model will work in this uh, sequence only plan, processes and flows. So, what are the plans? Manufacturing plans, utilization plans, recycling plans, incineration plans and life cycle plans. Processes are there. So, these are the uh, classification characters or characterization characters in the software which are there. These are all objects here. So, in processes we have agriculture and forestry, in agriculture and forestry if I uh, expand this 
it is a crop and animal in crop and animal it is animal production growing non perennial crops growing perennial crops so many things are there so we are more concerned in manufacturing and production in manufacturing it is showing manufacturing of beverages manufacturing of food products so gabi has classified manufacturing uh, in a way that only beverages and food products are there in manufacturing mechanical manufacturing that we think of is in production in production it is assembly assembly are the big assemblies like airplane ship train truck how to assemble the big system or big system of systems and work on that and then it has electronics in production and in material production it has certain material productions plastic production production of materials for renewables all those things in part production specific part production so this is a kind of a part production that we can see bending that we put as a process so these are certain options available to make a model the first step is to open a project so this is the project so i'll just go to project and right click right click sub menu opens and we can open new here click on new the new project that i'll open here is uh, lca paper clip or uh, i would say nptel advanced green manufacturing systems paper clip demo okay i have made this project now we need to save the project save the project in a way this project can be used in future and the databases those we develop in this product and connections that we make in this project can be added to the existing database if something extra is added so we need to save it that happens from activate project here we activate project now project is activated here so now we can close this window next is we need to work on the plan in this project we need to add a plan we go to plan and add new we can name this plan also you can see the plan uh, we can tell in which country are we working on these are the country codes right so we can pick uh, in for india actually it might not have the databases or the grid or electricity grids for india so let us keep it nation for now and uh, what kind of uh, plan it is we need to see it is it a life cycle plan is it a production or manufacturing is it a use plan is it end of life eol is end of life is it recycling is it incineration so i'll say it is life cycle plan so i'll say name the plan as life cycle paper clip okay then i for saving the plan i just need to click save and the plan would be saved here so now the plan is saved now this is the area on which i'll work this is the area on which the whole processes and uh, flows would come and those would be connected and finally we will analyze this using the results calculation so this is the icon of results calculation and this is such icon that we'll use many times in this presentation so because we need to work on this area it is better to cascade windows so as we can see this area and keep on dragging the objects if required plan framework or the plan area is there now now in the plan predefined database models can be added and also we can define our own model so we'll see we'll do both the things so with the features there's those are refined through experience on thousands of think step consulting projects this software has uh, uh, support at every stage of life cycle and assessment uh, from data collection and organization to presentation of results and stakeholders engagement so it automatically tracks all material energy emissions and these flows as well as it defines the monetary value working time social issues giving instant performance so we'll see when we'll add processes next we need to add process here to add a process either we can go from here we can manually select the process if we know that where is the specific location of the process so or we can just search the process from this search bar we need to put here what are we trying to search is it process is it plan is it flow what are we trying to search we are trying to search a process here i select process 
in the object type and put steel wire so if i put steel wire rod it is showing this much as it is showing the steel wire rod so i'll just drag and drop it here in the plan so i've dragged and dropped the steel wire here which is input to my process so what is p ag i'll just tell you what is this process so i'll tell you one thing if we open this if we open this is trying to open it from internet this is the list of the materials or all the connections or inputs and outputs that it has that this process has so these are the inputs outputs so this is the list this is known as life cycle inventory this life cycle inventory is the list of the resources input and output input might be hard coal output might be the emissions to air maybe carbon dioxide which are the elementary flows to the system so it has largest internally consistent data sets which are available data sets are, uh, from eco invent you can even see the eco invent is one of the data sets here in processes the eco invent processes are here this is all from eco invent so this is the life cycle inventory if you remember first step is there we need to have, we have to find the scope that we will work on life cycle analysis of this paper clip steel paper clip second step is life cycle inventory that is there if some inventory wouldn't be there we can add that third step is life cycle impact analysis or that we will do and then we will try to interpret the results so this is just to show you the life cycle inventory now this process is added next i need to add a process that is bending in that way bending process is not there a, in the database i can make a new process i will just go to process right click right click sub menu click on new single click on new now it is opened a option for adding new processes so these new processes i'll put bending okay or wire bending wire bending process the process can be unit single preparation unit black box life cycle inventory that is aggregated partly terminated system or avoided product system what does this five process is what is specifically uso uso is unit single operation which is referred to as unit process or gate to gate process this process contains only the data for one specific process that is there is no other connected inputs and other connected outputs it is a single process they are not second tier third tier fourth tier connections to it it is a single process it is just uh, data is coming in or some connection is coming in and the connection is going out from this this is single process second is unit process black box unit process black box uh, uh, this is a multifunctional process or process chain at a plant level this type of process may represent a group of processes rather than a single process for example the entire production chain of manufacturing an automobile so in place of just assembly in place of just uh, like fixing wheel to the automobile it is assembling the whole automobile so this is uh, used when we are using the multiple processes in one process rather than individual manufacturing to so transport processes these processes can be used next is agg this is lci result agg is actually aggregated so this is life cycle inventory result that contains the entire life cycle data for part or for the complete life cycle of the product system so this kind of data set is often referred to as cradle to gate system as i said cradle means from the very birth from the extraction of ore to gate to gate is the point where we are putting this process now this is pag PAG is partly terminated system this is represented here it can, this contains the life cycle inventory data for all the processes except for one to one product flows that require additional modeling next is uh, APS avoided product system all inputs and output flows are set to negative values or all inputs are converted to outputs or vice versa so this is just to uh, confirm the data that we are putting in 
if we do the vice versa, if we make it negative, positive to negative and the other way, does it work in that way or not? What are the results in that way? So, in this way, the use of certain materials and energies is avoided by the product system under study. So, this can be done. So, what is this wire bending process? Wire bending process is essentially a single unit process. Now, you can also see there is a parameter frame here. The parameter frame here, parameters are when we need to analyze uh, the different parameters, those are affecting the process as for now we will leave it. But next we have LCA, LCC and LCWNE and documentation. LCA is life cycle assessment, life cycle assessment that we will work on, life cycle costing is the financial aspects in life cycle and LCW is a social life cycle in a way. So, if you remember I showed you three pillars of sustainability, three pillars of sustainability were economic, environmental and social. So, it is environmental as, as LCA, then uh, life cycle costing that is for uh, uh, economic and LCWE that is for social, this is social LCA. It is trying to conduct the life cycle assessment for all the three pillars of sustainability. So, in social LCA you can see the uh, number of lethal accidents those occur, these are the kinds of humanity actual women employment, child labor, discrimination in job access. So, it has data which has it's connecting this documentation is when we need to add some documents and we need to uh, produce reports, these can be specific standards or those things can be put in here. So, we are specifically now working in life cycle analysis here. So, here we need to put flows, first flow to wire bending would be again steel wire rod. I will put steel, you can see it is uh, the auto prediction function that is working. If I see S T double E L, it is trying to pre predict what I am trying to ask here. So, if I put steel, it will put everything that is the word steel here. So, this is in the flow object because we are trying to put the input flow. So, this is steel. I will put steel wire rod, steel wire rod. So, again search steel wire rod, yes steel wire rod is there, we will just select this and accept. Now, this is added as a flow here. Now, the amount, the quantity can be the mass and the steel and iron meter the mass amount that we can put here is 0.00035 kg for one clip. So, this is the mass for that. So, also the input to this process would be electricity, we need power to work on it. So, electricity, now it is asking to make a new object because they say electricity does not exist which is not the case, actually there is a spelling error it is electric electricity so it is showing electricity for product for focal i'll put the parent electricity here consumption mix at consumer so, we can uh, even have for instance, we, if we know that the specific electricity that we are using is coming only from the thermal power plants, it can show here, we can pick uh, electricity from hard coal, electricity from natural gas, from hydropower. So, hydropower would have less environmental impact in comparison to hard coal, this is obvious. I will pick electricity consumption mix at consumer, accept. So, this is again a flow. So, this electricity consumption in megawatt or in kilowatt hour, you can change the units here, there units are megajoules, BTU, calories, gigajoules, all those units are there. I will pick kilowatt hour and put as 0 0.0001 kilowatt hour of energy is used, electricity is used to produce this clip. So, if you see, if I put this value and now I change the units it will by itself convert the value into megajoules 0.001 kilowatt is equal to 0.0036 megajoules. So, these are the input flows, output here would be we will get a paper clip, we will have a paper clip 
enter there is no object in the name of paper clip now they are asking to make a new object yes we can make a new object but we now need to locate the object paper clip is a metal item we can put it in the specific place and also we need to understand that how is the data classified here how is the flows and processes classified so in the flows we will put paper clip in valuable substances then materials in material specifically it is a metal material ok. So, this is the location I will name it paper clip paper clip and uh, what kind of flow is this is it an input or output is this an output here ok it can be input or output on both. So, we can click save here so it is saved. Okay. Now, this paper clip is saved and that is we can put the amount of paper clip the weight of steel wire should be equivalent to the weight of paper clip that we get. So, it is again 0 0.0035 kg kilograms that is one paper clip. Also, you can see a cross here the cross means this is a tract flow. So, they are actually two major kinds of flows one is elementary flow and one is non elementary flow. In elementary flow what is there elementary flows that enter the technosphere directly from nature that is one we can find here in resources flow folder and the flows that exit the technosphere directly to nature. So, those are elementary flows these elementary flows can be emissions to air water emissions to uh, land. So, in our system this uh, iron ore for the production of steel is an elementary flow entering in the paper clip te technosphere. So, carbon dioxide emissions arising from production are elementary flow leaving the paper clip technosphere. Non elementary flows are the flows that move only within the technosphere they are not entering directly from the natural world and do not exit the technosphere to the natural world. So, these are non elementary flows one is track flows if I put here cross that means these are track flows ok. If I put star that means no statement is there track flows track flows include valuable substances and energy flows that can be used in another process the track output input flow can be connected to a other track input or output flow of the following process in the process chain the connection between plants and processes by track flows is also possible. So, if we save a flow and that can be again tracked in some other kind of processes that is a track flow so, we need to make sure that these are track flows here. So, that is why there is a cross in the three flows here to input flow to output flows. Now, this wire mending process is ok we can save it and we can drag it here. I like to tell you other than tracked flows there are waste flows, waste flows are uh, the flows that need some processing to work on them and they can be reused again. So, those are other kinds of flows which exist. So, this is we have two processes here this box represent processes steel wire rod I will put it here steel wire bending I will put it here ok and uh, there has to be electricity I will put new process here such electricity so this is electric electricity grid mix which is a germany de company electric city grid grid mix which is available in the database so i'll put it here which will also go as input to the wire bending because it requires power to work on also there has to be use phase the wire bending has to be used so that use phase also has to be added before that i'll show you one thing i'll go to view this is drop down menu and i'll click here show tracked inputs and outputs if i click it here you can see these red dots here red dot red dot two red dots here one red dot here when that red dot here red dots on the left side means inputs this wire bending requires two inputs two input flows 
this has one output flow electric grid has one output flow this steel wire rod has one input flow and one output flow so what are these flows that we can see the input flow is steel billet the in output flow is steel wire in this case we have made this new process there are two input flows which are electricity and steel wire and uh, paper clip is the output so this is important to see when we'll connect this red dot would convert to black the number of that dot means number of flows those need to be connected so next i need to add a new process here that is use phase so it has uh, an output is uh, this output would be wire bending only the input the input here has to be steel billet so i have to add steel billet here steel billet so there are two steel billets one is electric arc furnace steel billet next is uh, blast furnace steel billet so i'll pick blast furnace steel billet as an input to this open open with just open the life cycle inventory i'll just drag and drop steel billet here steel billet is here now let me make the window a little larger the steel billet wire bending electric grid to transport the steel wire to the wire bending to the factory there needs to be some transport mode so i can add a transport mode so if i know where it is located that i can just go here in processes transport road transport truck so this glo truck can be added as a transport mode it has two inputs here two red dots are there when red input what would be steel wire also it would need cargo cargo steel wire it would need diesel so in this case i need to add diesel here as well so search diesel enter diesel mix at refinery drag and drop okay then uh, this diesel will be connected to trucks here okay this is almost ready after wire bending uh, we need to use one has to use this is a use phase now in use phase we have to create a new process let me add a new process here new i'll make it paper clip usage paper clip usage this is the name the input to this has to be the paper clip paper clip okay the amount is again 0.00035 kg and the output would be the scrap steel scrap steel scrap it is trying to search steel scrap here so there uh, might be certain kinds of steel scrap so we can pick one that is fitting best in our model so steel scrap product steel scrap for steel wire so i'll pick steel scrap st that is a waste type of source the waste type of flow I, as i said waste type of flow is the one that can be worked on that can be recycled and then then used again so we'll accept this so this is steel scrap amount here again has to be 0.00035 there is no reduction amount so save this close paper clip usage i'll put this as the process it has one input here in it so it has one input with it there is no output this is not uh, okay there has to be some output let me try to edit it to edit any information i can click just go at the process right click right click some menu would open and i can click the database settings so what is the wrong in database setting okay this is not a tracked one so i need to convert it into cross so when you convert it to cross now save now output will also come now you can see input and output one input would be input would be wire bending input would be the paper clip that comes from wire bending output would be steel scrap and after this we need to have end of life plan here end of life plan is uh, this has to be recycled so for that i'll create a new plan i go to plan click new new plan i will say eo 
L end of life paper clip. Right? So, this is the new plan and this is an end of life plan. So, it is our choice only we can even pick uh, end of life or life cycle in it. So, I have picked end of life here. So, the input to this would be the steel billet, steel billet process. So, here I will pick electric arc furnace, EAF is for electric arc furnace steel billet. This I will pick and drop it here, drag and drop, close. So, this is ok. In this, uh, the input flow has to be mentioned, output flow would be the billet here, the input flow would be the scrap, which is showing the input and output flows. Electric arc furnace has its own uh, built in database, so we will just fix it. Also, I need to tell one very important thing, we need to fix the processes, we need to fix the reference process in each plan. Like in this plan, there has to be one reference process based upon which life cycle assessment would happen because each process has its own connections, has its own databases, has its own quantity to come in. So, based upon wire bending, I can fix my model. In that case, I will just double click this and there is a scaling factor here. Scaling factor if I say uh, let me say 1000. 1000 if I put here, you can see this number is converted to this scale there 0 0.00036 is converted to 0 0.36 and if I put it let me 1 million, it has shown the similar inputs and output flows. Let me just fix it 1000 and I have to click fix here, fix means now this is fixed as the reference process when I do this, I say ok, you will find a cross here. This red cross means in this plan, this process is fixed. Similarly, there is a plan in plan, it is sub plan, in this case also the process has to be fixed. I will just keep the scale factor 1 and fixed, ok, it is crossed. So, this is the plan in itself that is complete. So, let me close this, save changes, yes. So, this plan, end of life paper clip, this I will put it here in my main plan ok. So, we can even change the sizes of the boxes like we can just be make it bigger or smaller or I can just change the size of all the processes here. I am just selecting all of them and making them bigger or smaller together or so, these can things can be done. So, almost we have all the processes, yes we have all the processes now, now we just need to connect make the connections. Now, if I go here this red line means it needs to be connected somewhere. So, this would be connected with the steel wire rod that is connected with the GLO trucks. If you see when I am connecting it will ask ok this is the sources, this is the, these are the sinks, sources will be steel wire, sink would be the cargo ok. So, it you can see this red spot is now turned black that means the connection is made. In this case one red spot is still there that means some more connection is required in this case also there is one red spot. So, I will connect this with here. So, this is connection is made here. So, I will just make the connections. ok, ok. So, these connections are being made. Also, I can even put comments here. This is a comment tab here or I can put a comment here. For instance, I can put uh, uh, some information here. I can put this is NPTEL course presentation. Okay. This is the comment that I put here, I can change the background color of the comment, so many things can be done. So, I can work on the settings of this, so color, change color, we can change the background color to maybe let me say black, 
okay so this is black now and uh, i can even change the font color font color was also black and i can make it white so that it looks here so this is i can even change the size of the box so these small changes can be made so this is done and i can even rename the processes if i change go to database however rename is not uh, recommended i'll uh, wire bending i'll put paper clip paper clip bending okay if i put this as as paper clip bending and say save i have to change other names as well so in this paper clip uses i'll just uh, rename it use phase steel paper clip okay okay this eol i'm just making the names uh, what were given in the tutorial that we have so this is tutorial end of life end of life save so this is the error in here course spelling okay so this is renaming and uh, making the flows so we have made the flows already okay these two flows are left we need to connect this here and uh, we need to connect this paper clip usage to end of life and that also needs to be connected to steel wire rod as input so let us make these connections so i made certain changes to the names and uh, we are ready with the model now so this is the model that we have let me make it bigger size so this is the model for the plan that we have the power plan is now complete with all the connections here now we need to analyze the data now this is we have made the plan for the specific product we can analyze the data in that case we need to analyze the life cycle impact for so that i click result calculations here this is result calculations so it is calculating so it is showing these charts here so you can see global warming potential ozone depletion then human toxicity cancerous and non cancerous these are the outputs those are coming here so we can just uh, click at one bar if i double click at one bar it will show the next tier of the uh, connections here so we can again click it here so you can see the next tier total what is happening it is showing here double click if i double click here it is showing the next tier tutorial end of life model carbon dioxide equivalent if i double click here it is showing that one also we can see how many charts are to be displayed on a dashboard so we can say display in rows only one it is showing only one in row and two in columns if i say only one by one it will show only one chart okay if i say four by four it is showing 4 by 4 16 4 into 4 16 charts here so it is showing everything here so these are uh, again global warming potential the same these are first four charts then particulate matter which is pm10 and pm2 levels and uh, ionization radiations so these are the charts which it is showing speed let me make it 2 into 2 again these charts can be copied if i just right click i can say copy to clipboard and that can be pasted in the report so those things can happen also we can make our own dashboard if i go to plus sign here and click it is asking to make a new dashboard a new dashboard i can change some specific uh, requirements which i need so i can name the new dashboard here i can put some name here so if i in this case i say like, let me say change the quantity in quantity i'll go to environmental quantities i just need to work on the global warming potential so i'll go to cml 2001 global warming potential for 100 years okay so it is showing chart for that so here also i can copy and paste the information okay so this is we can build our own dashboard these are the different reports which is showing life cycle impact analysis for cml 2015 for different models it is showing here 
also we can see results here if I go to results here it will not show results in the list form. In the list form we can copy and paste the results in our excel sheet and work on them other than just getting the histograms we can even make the line diagrams or pie charts using this if I click here double click here it is expanding and further it is expanding I can expand and collapse to see what are the impacts. So, this is inputs and outputs also these are just elementary flows if I unclick this it will show all the flows valuable substances and uh, production residual residues in the life cycle. So, it is non elementary flows it is also showing then separate input and output tables. Now, these are all the flows if I need to separate input tables and output tables I need to click here this check box it will separate the input tables and output tables ok. So, in and out aggregation it can show in aggregation and it can show in unaggregated way. So, we can also see life cycle costing for resources and valuables the total, total, total moderate is showing some values here for resources for valuable substances life cycle uh, uh, based upon the data though we did not put these as the inputs, but uh, it is still having some data those are connected when with the maybe road transport the lateral accidents that might be road transport non lateral accidents. So, these are the data which are available this impact analysis can be done. Also, we can get the values in relative in the percentage form these are the absolute values we can go to relative value here and if I put relative values it will show the percentages resources 100 percent in the 100 percent resources material resources are 100 percent energy resources are 0.0311 we can see emissions to fresh water is the most significant impact that is there from our process other are all negligible in comparison to this. So, these are all invaluable substances there is no value no value means it is not having any impact. A very important aspect in this software is this you can see this icon this is weak points. So, this is now the interpretation of the results if I click weak points here it will bring me three colors red gray and black red color means which is very significant ok red color is significant red color means the total impact for instance in specifically renewable sources the total impact is 99 percent anything that is more than 10 percent would be red that means more than 10 percent of impact is coming from this specific activity or the specific uh, category. So, that would be red gray means that is not at all significant that is in negligible black is in between red and gray black is in between red and gray. So, these are the ways we can just copy the data and uh, put it in the excel sheet if I put click here in this frame then uh, click control a it is copy data then I right click and copy. Now, this is copied and I can paste it in my excel sheet. So, this is a brief introduction on working with Gabi software and uh, you can definitely work on this the task that I like to give you today is this is the truck the steel wire rod is transported through truck to try to see the impact using this truck and also you can change this you can put a transportation from air like flight is bringing the steel wire rod to the bending process in that way you can find it here in process you will find transport transport is a transport. So, it is a transport that is cargo plane if I put it in my plan cargo plane. So, it has you can open it to see what are the inputs and outputs here the inputs are cargo and kerosene kerosene from refinery output is cargo. So, we need to put kerosene in place of diesel mix then we need to search for kerosene so, this is a task for you kerosene diesel kerosene this one drag it here ok. Now, please delete this one I am just clicking on the diesel mix put uh, click delete click on truck click delete and I will put it here. Now, you please make connections this to this make connections from here 
ok and make connections from here and see what is the change in place of the truck I have put a plane. Please compare these two results in that case a comparison between the transportation. Now, this is the transportation model we are uh, picking the same kind of material we have not changed steel to some other uh, material it might be some plastic or polymer uh, uh, clip that we can use. So, I am just changing the transport medium here from truck to air travel from uh, uh, cargo plane. So, this comparison you can make. So, this software is used for comparison for life cycle impact analysis and uh, the whole scenario analysis can be done that is another level of uh, the software. This is a comprehensive software and uh, we can work on this to have the life cycle impact analysis for our whole system maybe for a single product process and or for a whole system that can be the small small plants can be put in a bigger plan to make it a big system. So, this is all in this week where we have discussed the design for environment, we have discussed uh, life cycle assessment as a part of design for environment and the two demonstrations one is on online tool EIO LCA, second one is the Gabi software which we have just taken the evaluation version, we have worked on that. We will meet next time and discuss more on advanced green manufacturing systems. Thank you.